This is a total breakdown of YouTube jail. It's the easiest way for me to put it is that you have two computers run simultaneously at the same time. You can either have them both on your page at one time, or you have one on this page and one on that page. Or, in the case of YouTube jail, I had both cameras pretty much on the same page. What you do is you have a camera, say, to your left or you to the right of you, or one on this profile and one in the facial profile, one facing you and one facing your side there. So you can have the two points of view. Now, camera one, which would be the one facing you, is the one where you'd start your video. You know, blah, 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 yakety, yakety, I'm going to do such and such. And then camera two, no, 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 how did I do it? Yeah, camera two, is the one then once the video once you figure out what you're gonna do then you turn the camera two as camera one is still on hit record on camera two you know which would be the secondary computer also uploading on the same page same time and then you do the video you have this reply from this angle on camera one and then you have the second reply on camera two as you can see at the same time both you know cameras will be filming camera one would run out first and camera two would run out second um, somehow they stopped my videos at nine minutes and 59 seconds so say for instance Tom you do videos the average time the longest I think I've seen one of your videos is seven minutes or something maybe say one minute into the video you click record on your second you know camera you got this angle and you have the second angle. In other words, you're filming part one and then the sequel is also filming at the same time. In other words, you get the same video from two different shots. You can name both of these videos different or you can name them the same. As in the case of YouTube video, or YouTube video, YouTube jail, as in the case of YouTube jail, some of the videos I call Miss Dragonfly and then some videos would be the reply or something. I forget how it went. I'm going to go back and I'm going to build up enough drama so I can go back to YouTube Jail. But YouTube Jail was fun for me to do. And I got to put on like a theme music and stuff. And I got to do everything live. As you could see, I would actually look on the video. You can see me looking from the one camera's perspective for something to say. But then when I found my thing, you know, I tell you in this camera and I watch this. And then I hit the button and boom I do my video so when you go to YouTube jail look for the video and then look for the reply or you'll see how it works out. it's like Miss Dragonfly and the Miss Dragonfly one or, or look at some of those videos so you can get a sense of what went down because you can see in a lot of the videos from YouTube jail Y-T-J-A-I-L the angles it's all about the angles and it's all about I'm searching I'm searching I'm searching I'm searching I found it BAM and then I'm still talking about it then all of a sudden BAM it all melts together YouTube jail was fun and it's not dead like I said um if I get enough people you know subscribe to YouTube jail I will leave the real AIX alone for a few minutes so people can understand the true power of this YouTube thing where we can police ourselves where embarrassing people uh, <laughs> is fun. And I want to tell you how fun it is because somebody says something stupid about you, Tom, or anybody, and then all of a sudden you're on YouTube jail, and you can do so much in YouTube jail that you can't do on your regular pages. It's because in YouTube jail, it's almost like putting somebody on beam, put them on the spot. Hey, this is what you did look at it you can even see it and in some cases you know I think I took the video camera and and look I, I was even you know, I read so damn slow because it's California learning system around here you know I would read I'd read it out to you what the person actually said you know now I find myself uh, copying the comments and pasting them on people's pages because it's a little faster than YouTube jail but embarrassing people in their own words or uh, what I would do on YouTube jail is you know when I'm making the comment about what you said I'd always do it on your highest viewed or highest rated video 
that right there gave me the stinging power I believed because a lot of people be like why are you saying this and it has nothing to do with this video well it's because this is their highest ranked video this is the video that everyone watches this is the video that that people bragged about or talked about and for them to see a video reply about something other than that video about how this person's actions you know that is classic the look on their faces and when they comment it's off the hook hello hello how was work it's all right oh well that's how YouTube jail works thank you and you've been too